Hey Pisces, welcome to the channel. This is the Spirit Font. Thank you guys for joining me once again. If it's your first time here, thank you for stopping by. We're taking a look at your energies for May 2021. This is general, guys. The roles could easily be reversed and it may or may not resonate. I ask that you use your intuition to see if this is truly your reading. If it does resonate and you'd like a personal reading, the information should be below in the description. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's happening around you. Good God, Pisces. It's a mixed bag of energies here. Um, so yeah, I do feel like you guys are coming out of a phase of dealing with some very unhealthy people or some very unhealthy situations possibly you are attracting relationships with people that um kind of triggered a lot of your trust issues possibly even abandonment issues i'm picking up on here i'm just sensing that um you're coming out of a cycle where the people that you are attracting were very very selfish um i'm even sensing some of them were cheaters players non-committal um, undecisive human beings, uh, people who needed to heal from childhood abandonment issues, or possibly people who are triggering these issues within you. I am sensing that um, there's a huge group of you who are currently dealing with someone who either stepped out on you or completely broke your trust. Um, maybe they broke your trust not necessarily by inviting another person into the relationship, but I am sensing that their indecisiveness and the fact that they weren't necessarily taking this relationship in a steady direction. And if they were telling you they would, it was more of a breadcrumb. I'm sensing for some of you, um, I'm also sensing that a lot of you just got really tired um, of putting up with a certain person, a certain situation, or, or certain types of circumstances that always felt the same for you. Um, honestly, Pisces, to start off your reading with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Pentacles and then the Five of Pentacles in reverse, I just sense that you were dealing with a lot of unemotional um what do you call it, unavailable, emotionally unavailable human beings, uh, people who just were never ready to commit. Um, if this isn't one person, and unfortunately you've been dealing with these kind of people for a long time, I would suggest that you do some healing and try to figure out why you are manifesting the same kind of energies. Why are you always manifesting people who are either in relationships, people who don't want relationships, or people who step out on relationships? Um, it's not completely your fault, of course. The other people do need to take responsibilities for their actions. However, you're a spiritual person and I believe you know that you are manifesting, okay? And I feel like there's an a huge group of you Pisces who've dealt with some sort of abandonment issues or some sort of energy of feeling left out in the cold in your past whether this was from your childhood yourself or maybe you've had a relationship that's really really hurt you um, I think that a lot of you have been stuck in that pain and unable to leave this abandonment energy and that is what is bringing forth these non-committal people who leave you feeling very confused and who keep triggering these uh, trust issues that are already embedded within you um, i feel like the universe is trying to push you um, to take a deeper look into what it is that you need to heal in order to no longer feel abandoned in general and therefore no longer manifest people who make you feel abandoned. A lot of you have been dealing with people who just breadcrumb you, move very slowly in relationships, people who don't uh, come forward with commitment. Um, and yeah, just people who genuinely, I feel, trigger you, trigger energies that you didn't even realize you had inside of you. If you do realize you have them inside of you, you haven't been dealing with it, okay? Um, this is truly the universe trying to warn you or just trigger you or point you in the right direction as to what you need to do to start releasing these energies there is some sort of healing that needs to take place there's some sort of manifestation that you need to now start creating from within yourself and i think it's all about releasing the past um 
it's not going to be as easy as you are assuming it might be because I feel like a lot of what you need to heal is internal Pisces um, in order for you to create a new fresh beginning for yourself you need to look within yourself and try and figure out like I said before why were you manifesting what you've been manifesting I feel like once you figure this out and once you actually start digging deep is when the new cycle a healthier cycle starts to come towards you i feel like a lot of you are ready for commitment at least on the surface level you are wanting commitment you still have to heal quite a bit in order to start manifesting that commitment but once you start that journey once you take that leap once you take the risk into delving into yourself healing yourself start manifesting from a much healthier space look what's coming towards you pisces the ten of pentacles the type of commitment that you've been looking for this whole time i don't think it's going to be anybody from your past as you can see um people from your past are really shady so why would you want them if it, for the group of you if it is someone from your past do you understand that this person's moving extremely slowly i feel like it's the universe almost giving you a little bit of a resting period it's giving you some time to really really figure things out heal yourself before this um, commitment comes in there is some sort of commitment coming in your direction for some of you it's someone from the past i do hope it's not <laughs> but maybe if someone chooses to grow up they're welcome to come back in but for a lot of you you are manifesting someone new someone who is committal someone who does express their emotions someone who is available someone who comes in plans for the future once that whole white picket fence the two labradoodles and the two point five kids okay however pisces in order to manifest this literally the magician is on the deck in order to manifest this you need to heal some sort of abandonment energy from your past this same abandonment energy that keeps creating confusion for you due to the type of people you have been pulling into your energy I don't want to sound hard on you guys. I'm a Pisces, so I have dealt with a lot of these kind of people. Um, I'm currently on my healing journey. I've gone on the fool's journey. I have my person right now. He is a little triggering, which is just an indication that there are things within me that I'm still having to work on, okay? So this reading completely, completely resonates with me. I feel like it's going to resonate differently for a whole bunch of you. Either way, though, guys, if the Ten of Pentacles is your ultimate goal, do know that it's manifestable. That's a word, right? Manifestable. It's possible. It's, when, it's within reach. It is already yours once you stop manifesting from the right energy. And the right energy is a healthy energy. It's an energy of self-love, self-appreciation, having boundaries, um, just loving yourself. It's a lot easier said than done. Um, I know that sounds really silly, but it's the truth. But the second you are able to tap into your to your beauty, your grace, and truly love yourself, that's when the magician energy start to ignite, and that's when this new cycle comes towards you. None of this crap anymore, okay? Very intuitive read. I'm not even going to clarify using... Um, should I? Okay, I'm temperance i am going to clarify just using two cards from this deck and then i'm going to clarify using um the light seers sorry guys at the bottom of the deck is temperance so just as i was saying guys your underlying he um energy for this reading is healing you need to heal yourself you need to find balance within yourself in order to manifest correctly i'm, I'm not going to repeat that message again but here's the card just to um just to resonate with you guys that what i'm picking up on intuitively it seems to be what the cards are saying as well okay so let's get three cards two more cards please universe let's just clap Ooh. wow pisces okay so yeah maybe a lot of you have been 
waiting for something, waiting for change, hoping someone would change and come in with commitment, hoping someone would stop cheating, hoping someone would finally see your value. Um, I think you're coming into a space, if you're not feeling this way right now, you are starting to manifest this energy where you are no longer waiting. You are seeing things for what they are and you, I think a lot of you are choosing to turn your back on your past, whether that's a person or like I said, certain energies that you've been manifesting. I think the waiting is done and it's going to become, it's going to be coming at you as almost a as an epiphany, if that makes sense, it's going to be like, holy shit, what have I been waiting? Excuse my language, YouTube. <laughs> um, but holy crap, what have, I, what have I been waiting for for so long? Like, why am I waiting for someone who's not coming in correct? Someone who's breadcrumbing me, someone who keeps triggering me, someone who has no idea what it is that they want from this relationship. It's just going to hit you out of the blue that you don't have to wait anymore. And if there is anything that you need to wait on, it's your own healing, okay? Wow. Once the healing comes is when the love comes, okay? Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Let's clarify. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Pisces, you're going into a beautiful phase of healing, okay? Um, everything that I just said with the temperance from the Rider Wave, is everything I'm going to say from this deck. It came out twice at the bottom of both decks. That's a huge underlying energy that you need to focus on in the month of May. Your temperance, your healing, your balance, your self-love. Um, an energy also of possibly balancing feminine and masculine energies and maybe even just tapping into your spirituality. Um, I hope you can see the angels here. I think this is Raphael. If I'm not wrong, Archangel Raphael. So maybe some of you should call on him for some healing energies. Yeah. Healing's coming, guys. It's been a very tough cycle for you guys of a lot of anxiety. Maybe you actually suffer from anxiety or some sort of depression. Um, but it's it's coming, oh, it's coming to an end, okay? Sorry, I'm getting a lot of messages um, at the same time. So like I said, you guys are coming out of a state of anxiety, um, or at least you will be coming out of a state of anxiety once you choose to release these tricky situations or tricky people in your life. It's a decision. You are welcome to keep manifesting uh, players and people who are in and out, um, but I think you deserve better, okay? It's going to take a very clear decision. It's going to take some manifesting, which isn't necessarily easy because you have to be, you have to be without any blockages you have to be certain you have to be confident and you can't have any doubt and i mean we're all human coming from what we're coming from with these energies you're gonna have some doubt so in order to manifest this ace of swords is asking you to just dig deep heal those deep deep uh rooted energies within you that are in your subconscious in order to manifest from a much better energy once you do that victory is on its way literal victory in the sense that you are going to be someone's center of attention you are going to be grabbing the spotlight whatever it is that you are trying to manifest whether it's financial or love it's coming towards you victory is coming towards you but what i love about the six of wands in this deck is that this girl is standing here on her own there's no one around her she doesn't need anybody she's self-sufficient she's turned her back on her haters and she's staring into the light this is the energy you need to follow and be in for the month of May and beautiful things are coming in your direction. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest, you can. But be, be careful, Pisces. I think you're much stronger at manifesting than you realize. So when you're damaged, you manifest damage. When you're healed, you manifest happy. Happy, happy, healed, comfortable, balanced energies. Safety, security. Wow. Good stuff. 
I hope that this is your reading. I hope that it resonates. I hope it's helping you in some little way. If it is your reading, please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a little comment or book a private reading if you'd like, okay? Let's close off your reading with the Enchanted Map uh, deck. This should be the grounding energies that you just hover or not hover but like that you think about uh, throughout the month of may as you try to manifest these beautiful energies okay all right education wisdom comes from participating in life not just reading about it this card suggests that you might have not Sorry, this card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Excuse me. Now is the time to go to school. Ask a person who might know more than you do or find a teacher or a course or st of study so that you can more clearly understand what the, ne what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school and you must learn by experience. Now is the time to be teachable, open to changing your perception and your notions. Be a student and be willing to, take, um, to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. Wow. So obviously, while you guys are in the manifesting pro, uh, process, while you guys are still healing, you don't know. But I think what this card is asking you to do is get some help if you need to, to heal those abandonment issues. Get some help if you need to, to stop manifesting cheaters or people who step out on you. There are people out there. There are therapists. There are life coaches. There are dating coaches. There are friends. There are your parents who've been married for a long time. There are things that you can do to get more information about yourself and then get more information about relationships or whatever it is that you're trying to get away from. You don't have to do this on your own. Another energy I'm picking up on here is Google, Google, the library, anything that you can. Just get as many books on manifesting, psychology, energy, healing, tempering yourself, subconscious energies, all of that stuff that we need to heal in order to manifest. So beautiful stuff here, guys. Um, I hope it's your reading because beautiful things are coming. Just heal, okay? Love and light. Bye.